Looks like a good day to check this camera out. Are you looking forward to testing the Canon EOS 6D Mark II? Um, kinda. What? It's just a bit old school. What do you mean by that? Well, to start with, it's got a mirror. <laughs> well, yeah, it has, but it's also got the latest AF system and sensor and flippy out LCD touchscreen. Um, but man, mirrors have been serving photographers for a long time. I mean, that's kind of my point I'm making. Anyway, what are we going to test today? I mean, I'd say let's check out the autofocus system with the 45 cross type sensor. We've got six and a half frames per second, so that'd be quite cool to try. Um, and then I'd probably say it'd be nice to try and find somewhere a bit darker if we can, although considering it's super sunny, that might be tricky, but 40,000 ISO, that'd be cool. Um, and what else? Let's, let's try the video features. Let's try the 4K time lapse and let's just see what it can actually do for video. Okay, that sounds brilliant. Good, well, we're almost there. We had arranged to meet in Southsea with Dave Parry, Canon's product specialist, and run through a few of those features we wanted a closer look at. Each armed with a beta production model of the 6D Mark II and a collection of Canon lenses, we were thrown straight into a shooting scenario when we noticed a hovercraft heading towards the port. This gave us the chance to not only try out the 6.5 frames per second, but also the Mark II's AI servo autofocus capabilities. Quoted as being highly accurate, the AI survey would continuously focus on the moving hovercraft as the distance changed on its approach towards us. Not only were the captured images sharp and in focus, but the improved frames per second meant that we could select the moment we wanted with ease. We also waited for the departure of the craft to shoot this sequence in reverse as it headed back across to the Isle of Wight. From the hovercraft terminal we were invited into the South Sea Rowing Club to check out their boat store and gin. This really gave both Dave and I a chance to push the low light limits and take the 6D up to that 40,000 ISO. With the craftsmanship of the boats and the wear and tear of the rowing machines, you can really see the detail there in the images. Now I'm not expecting everyone to want to shoot at 40,000 ISO as there is some visible noise at this level. But seeing how much detail is still kept in the images at this high value makes me realise that you can take the Mark II further than before and capture what was once shot with little to no detail included. It was while in the gym that I took a look at how much the 98% viewfinder really affects your shooting. If you look at the centre bar you can see it's cropped out each end through the optical viewfinder. But if we look at the LCD screen you can see either side of the bar giving you a rough indication of the difference. I can see a small number of photographers having an issue with this, but for me I tend to shoot slightly wider than my final subject shots, as it's always possible to crop in but not out in post. Back outside I was able to try the 4K time lapse mode with the sun beating down on the sea and the boat sailing past. Setting up the Mark II with a built-in time-lapse feature was super simple, with the easy to follow on-screen instructions. You select how many shots you would like to shoot, what the interval timer between each photo is, take a quick test shot to get your exposure right, and then an easy press of the shutter button to begin. After that, the 6D takes care of the timing, shooting and editing it all together internally, leaving you with a single motion capture of that event. The last stop for us was the game's arcade, a place full of dark and brightly lit areas with plenty of motion and colours to shoot. I gave everything a go from just static stills to trying to be a little bit more creative with my motion blur. Adrian also gave his best efforts at skiing while I tried out the 1080p performance on the Mark II. For me, I was disappointed with the lack of the internal 4K recording, but at the same time Canon have openly said that the 6D Mark II was built for the stills photography. Saying this, the footage that I captured was not bad or disappointing in any way. It just isn't a camera designed for people wanting to shoot professional video. So there you go, we spent a day with the camera. Doesn't get much better than this, does it? Absolutely beautiful day, so no, it's been really great. Um, you know, it was a bit sceptical, I suppose, is the way to say it. You know, new camera, features in there obviously improved, but, you know, looking at spec, nothing which really jumped out at me as such. 
but using sort of almost um, you know the low light capabilities when we were looking at all the boats and everything and in the gym section um, you know 40,000 RSO and it actually looks really good in you know the final shots um, and that for this camera that's what that's all about yeah it's exactly. about that low light capability the original 6D was renowned for its low light capability and this follows on from that trend this camera won't be what um, what it's not it is a stills photographer's camera um, and it's to give you amazing low light capability and give you amazing quality stills and I think we've really um, shown what it can do here today I mean what a, what a beautiful day. But even saying that it's um, you know for the stills you've still got the video yes it's full HD not 4k so it is losing the 4k bit there but even so we still shot some video today and in the time lapse mode as well it's you know the tech in here is pretty awesome and you know I'm quite happy with it I like it it's uh, you know, it's great to see the results and I hope everyone else is really happy with them as well. Yeah, me too. So no, really great to see you again. It's nice to be out from, uh, you know, <laughs> the confines of a building or uh, the back garden at uh, Canon HQ. Um, so really appreciate you dropping this off to us. And uh, yeah, catch up soon. No problem. Thank you much.